All right, guys, here it is. Upon many requests and the fact that I haven't done one in about a year, I'm going to show off the Blu-ray collection. Now, it is Tuesday, April 10th. I did not pick anything up, unfortunately. The Iron Lady and The Darkest Hour in 2D and 3D came out. I passed on both of those, but I still wanted to do a video. And a lot of a lot of you guys, a lot of users were telling me, show off your collection, and I haven't done one in such a long time, so I'm like, you know what? Today's, today's the perfect time to do it. So, let's get right to it. Alright, I'm not going to pull each one out and tell you the title of it, because it'll just take too long. So I'm just going to do a pan, a, not, a, you know, a slow pan, and I'll tell you how it's all organized. Uh, real quick, I did change this from that previous video, where I, that one night where I stayed up alphabetizing everything. I did change it, just because some of it got a little frustrating. Because when I got, like, a, a movie that started with an A, I had to take a Blu-ray out of each shelf and move it down. It just got annoying after a while, so I... Went back to a different style I used to do, so I'm, I'll show you guys right now. But right off the bat, right here, as you can see, these four films right here, I have, this is my Ryan Gosling collection. I just put all his films together in the front. Uh, I didn't. I don't really have a spot to put them, so I just put them up in the front, starting everything off. And then as we go on from there, this top shelf is just all my favorite directors. As you can see right here, we have Martin Scorsese. And we move on to Woody Allen. And we got Roman Polanski. Quentin Tarantino, all of his films, and some I used I used to mix his films with Robert Rodriguez, but I took them out for right now. I may put them back up here, but I don't know. And then from Robert, or I'm sorry, from Quentin Tarantino, we have you know your Stanley Kubrick, Christopher Nolan, David Fincher. Then we have Darren Aronofsky. I believe I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> and with Danny Boyle, Cameron Crowe, and the Coen Brothers. Then we got J.J. Abrams, and that's it. So, I mean, that's pretty much all my favorite directors I just put up there. And then after that, I put my independent films. As you can see right here, I'm sorry for the lighting. The, sh the side of the shelf is blocking some of the light, so the last few titles in each shelf will be hard to read. But we got Another Earth, Tree of Life. This was my favorite film of 2011. We go down to here, we still have more independence. Back here is uh, Rubber, if you couldn't see. We got Battle Royale, the complete collector's edition, the four disc set, which I love. Uh, my favorite American slasher films, Hatchet and Hatchet 2. I highly recommend those if you've never seen them. It's very good films. And we continue more with the uh, independent. Winter's Bone. That's another good one with Jennifer Lawrence. Probably my favorite claymation right here, Mary and Max. That's another that comes at my highest recommendation as well if you're a fan of that kind of stuff. Life in a Day. This is I'd say this is probably my second favorite film of 2011. Attack the Block. Welcome to the Block, brother. And then yeah, we go. And then that's the that's the end, end of the independence. And then we start pretty much the biography type films, um, like I got Moneyball, The Fighter. So I wouldn't really call these biography, Soul Surfer, and Into the Wild, but it kind of runs us along like the documentary st type films. We got The Cove, and then City of God. Oh, I'm sorry, that's now we get into the crime type films. Public Enemies, Next Three Days, Limitless. Crime and then, well, I think, yeah, crime and thriller, I should say. And back there, you got The Road, Law Abiding Citizen, The Debt, and probably one of my favorite thrillers, Hard Candy with Ellen Page and Patrick Wilson. Probably my favorite Ellen Page film. And if we go down here, we still have more crime. We uh, all four Fast and the Furious. I have the fifth one, but the fifth one is, is on the Steelbook, so it's in my Steelbook collection. We'll get to that later. Then after that, we got like your type of spy, secret agent type films. We got Mission Impossible, Charlie's Angels, Casino Royale. I have Quantum Solace, but that's in a uh, blockbuster case. I haven't cased that in an actual Blu-ray case yet, but I'll show you that later. Then we have one of my other favorite sections is the sci-fi. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I got both editions of Avatar, the collector's edition, and the single bare bones disc. All the Alien films, Terminator. I don't have Rise of the Machines. I still gotta get that one. All seasons, um, 
all seasons of the Terminator Sarah Chronicle. Um, Sarah Chronicle. I'm sorry, Sarah Connor Chronicle collection. And just more sci fi. Back here is Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes, all Transformers. I am number four. Can't really say that because it's too dark. Then we go back down the more. There's more sci fi. Then we get into your drama type. We got I, Saving Private Ryan. I used to have a war section, but I just put that in with the rest of the drama with like Black Hawk Down and all that. Whip It, another great Ellen Page film. Ellen Page and Drew Barrymore. And Kristen Wiig, actually. Gone with the Wind, The Help. And then we get into my comic, or kind of superhero comic book films. You know, you got Batman, which, yeah, Batman, Under the Red Hood, Iron Man 1 and 2, Captain America, probably my favorite Marvel film. Thor, another one of my favorites. X-Men Origins, X-Men First Class. I don't have the rest of the X-Men, which I need to get. Green Hornet, Kick-Ass, Red. Then we got your action-type films, Immortals, Machete, Machete, however you like to pronounce that. Expendables. Yeah, it keeps going with action. So you got, like, Body to Lies, Ridley Scott, Die Hard, just the first one I have. And then, over you can't see, but I, have, I start the horror section, and I have the Crazies. Daybreakers. And Fright Night 3D, which I actually really enjoy, but I still like the original. Or prefer it over the remake. And then down here, I got, you know, Final Decision 5, The Ring. Insidious, one of my favorite horror films of, I think it was the last year it came out. Uh, my all-time favorite horror films of today, not in general, but of just today, are Paranormal Activity 1, 2, and 3. Scream 1 and 4, my favorite out of... Um, all four of them. I don't care for two and three that much, but I will get them eventually someday. Friday the 13th, part one. Uh, I'm sorry, part two. Friday the 13th, part... Well, these are backwards, yeah. So I got one and two. I don't have the third one yet. Um, Halloween, the original, and then Rob Zombie's um, Halloween 2. Got that for a dollar. And I got Saw, the final chapter, which I actually really enjoyed. And Saw 3, I know, I, I don't have the rest of them, I gotta get them eventually. Uh, let the right one in, let me in. Piranha, which I love, and I can't wait for Piranha, 3DD, Dawn of the Dead, The Crow, Lost Boys. Let me start my uh, comedy section. Hall Pass, Bridesmaids, Your Highness. Uh, I don't care what people say, I really, really loved this movie. I thought it was hilarious, and I loved the cast, especially Natalie Portman and Danny McBride. But I th this was just, this was great. Uh, Paul, a very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas, the extra dope edition. Hot tub time machine. Um, we got like Bad Santa, Bad Teacher, MacGruber, which I really loved as well. And then we just got like some other things, Pleasantville, Dodgeball, Dinner for Schmucks, Swingers, Step Brothers. And Youth and Revolt. Like I said, it's really hard to see in the corners. And up top, we continue the comedy section. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the Bueller Bueller, uh, Bueller, Bueller edition. Uh, I got this for five bucks at the trade and save for Best Buy. It was a great deal. It came with the slipcover and everything. Days and Confused, Fast Times at Ridgemont High. By the way, Days and Confused is like one of my favorite films of all time. Then we got your, like, your teen comedy, super bad, easy A, take me home tonight. We got Friends with Benefits, No Strings Attached, Chasing Amy, all that stuff. And then we get into the music type. I don't have that many music films, but I got like Crazy Heart, The Runaways. I have Burlesque. Not that big of a fan of the movie, but it looked amazing on Blu-ray. Got it for a cheap price. West Side Story, my favorite musical, hands down. Then we got like live concerts. Now, these two concerts... I actually never really owned live concerts before, but around Black Friday, these were on sale for about five, ten bucks a piece. I got the Britney Spears live tour, and then I got the Lady Gaga, uh, the Monster Ball tour, which I've ne the quality is just crystal clear. I've never seen such great quality with those concerts, as well as This Is It, Michael Jackson. 
I have the Steelbook edition of this as well, but that's upstairs. I don't have that down here. And then I have Glee the 3D Concert, which is another great um, concert, but another great Blu-ray as well, which that returns tonight, which I'm really looking forward to checking out. Here's my Harry Potter films. This is kind of like the family type section. You know, one through eight. Got the Half-Blood Prince. And I got two editions. I got the Deathly Hallows Part 1 on 3D, and I have the Steelbook Edition down below, which we'll get to in a minute. Then I have the Deathly Hallows Part 2 3D, the Best Buy Exclusive 3D, and then I have the Best Buy Edition of the Deathly Hallows Part 2 of Target. Next up, we have the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, 1 through 4. Uh, I got On Stranger Tides, a 3D edition. This was a Target ed edition that came with a Lego ship, which I have somewhere around here. Probably one of my favorite films when I grew up as a kid, Spy Kids 1, 2, 3, and 4, which I actually really enjoyed. Uh, I know there's only a few people out there who really like this movie. Just because I was a fan of the original series, and or a fan of the original films, I just really enjoyed that one. Chronicles of Narnia, I got 1, 2, and The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, which I hate this case because it's really, really big and it doesn't really, it's not that even with all the blurry cases. Uh, Stuart Little 1 and 2, Jumanji, and Zathura. Actually, here we go. Post down in the comments below which you like better between the two, Jumanji or Zathura. I choose Zathura over Jumanji, but they're both great. But I like to know in the comments down below. We got more family films. Uh, Karate Kid, Dolphin Tail. Let me go on to animation. Probably my favorite animation is Stop Motion and Motion Capture. Stop Motion representing Coraline, which I absolutely loved, as well as Tintin. Then I have the Kung Fu Panda collection, uh, well, both films plus some bonus disc. Uh, Puss in Boots 3D. Uh, more DreamWorks. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of DreamWorks animation, but I just really like How to Train Your Dragon and then the Gift of Night Fury set. Uh, Ice Age of Mammoth Christmas Special, which is actually pretty good, but it's only like 15 minutes long, something like that. I don't know. Uh, Despicable Me. One of my favorite animations, Legend of, Legends of Guardians of the Owls of Gahul, Smurfs. Uh, then we got your Disney films, Alice in Wonderland, The Muppets, Prince of Persia, Tron, the classic, uh, which is my favorite, and then Tron Legacy, the 3D, the 3D uh, disc set. Then we got uh, just Nomeo and Juliet, 3D, Tangled, 3D. Then we got your classic um, Disney films, Bambi and Beauty and the Beast. Dumbo, Fox and the Hound, 1 and 2, Lady and the Tramp, Lion King 3D, Winnie the Pooh, and then Pixar, my favorite animation of all time. Uh, I do have Cars 2, but that's in Steelbook, and I just need Monsters, Inc. I believe that's it. That's all I need. Up, over here is Up and Wally. -E. Down here are Digibooks. I got 300, The Big Lebowski, Dr. Shivago, The Exorcist, Citizen Kane, which is really nice artwork in the front. Falling Down, Taxi Driver. This is not really a digi book, but it's in the form of a digi book. There's no actual booklet inside. It's just like postcards and some really nice artwork. Goodfellas, Matrix 7, part of the uh, Fincher collection, which I don't keep up there with my other ones because it's a digi book size. Dirty Harry, Shawshank Redemption, and The Clone War Season 1. I do, I really want... A Clockwork Orange, but I'm waiting for that to go on sale. All these I got for like 10 bucks. I waited for them to go on sale. They're like 10 bucks a piece, which is great. Now we have the G1 size steelbooks, the Blu ray steelbooks, Fast Five, Best Buy exclusive, Green Lantern, uh, Best Buy exclusive, this ex extended cut, Hurt Locker, uh, Twilight Eclipse, and then Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1. I don't have the other ones. I got to order those sometime soon to get all the Steelbooks collection of that, those movies. Battle LA. When I was in Canada, I got the uh, Gangs of New York with Leo on the front. Uh, here's Deathly Hallows Part 1. This was an FYE exclusive, I think. Here's Inception, another FYE exclusive. The Muppets Metal Pack. Cars 2 Metal Pack, or Iron Pack, one of those two. Lion King Metal Pack. Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides Pack, Metal Pack. Resident Evil Afterlife, I think this was a Walmart edition, or exclusive. One of my favorite steel books, the artwork is just really nice, is the Scarface one. <laughs> I did an unboxing of that a long time ago. And then Toy Story 3, I th yeah, this is a Best Buy exclusive. And here are another great section on the shelf. 
uh, Criterion Collection. I got, oh, this is backwards. Uh, my favorite director, or one of my favorite directors, Federico Fellini. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I got a bunch of films here. Crumb, Darjeeling Limited, Gimme Shelter, Rolling Stones, Kiss Me Deadly, Fear and Loathing, Las Vegas, My Life as a Dog, Eight and a Half, Naked, Thin Red Line, Yojimbo, and then The Curse of, uh, yeah, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. I wish this was in an actual uh, Criterion case, but it's not. I got this at Blockbuster when they're closing for like a few bucks. And then down here is just television. Uh, Band of Brothers. I actually got this for 30 bucks, believe it or not. Uh, Target had it on sale. Game of Thrones, the Stark Edition, Best Buy Exclusive, Boardwalk Empire, Generation Kill, True Blood, Spartacus, Blood and Sand Season 1, Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, Breaking Bad Season 1, The Big Bang Season 3, uh, I'm sorry, Season 4, one two, 1, 2, and 3 are on DVD, Glee Season 1 and 2, Glee Encore, Planet Earth, Star Trek, the promo, the next level, and The Walking Dead, first season. Then these are just my box sets of the films, uh, Lord of the Rings Extended Cut, Jurassic Park, all, all the Matrix films, including um, the Animatrix, I think it is, yeah, Back to the Future, the Star Wars A Complete Saga, the Godfather Trilogy, Family Guy Trilogy of Star Wars, and the Wizard of Oz 70th Anniversary Box Edition. Here's a certificate of authenticity of um, for Jurassic Park. And then down here are the some of the dollar Blu-rays that I haven't uh, put in regular Blu-ray cases from the Blockbuster dollar sale. Uh, 500 Days of Summer, Brooklyn's Finest, G.I. Joe, Rise of Cobra, which is one of my favorite guilty pleasures and also... I think his name's Snake Eyes, the black ninja on here. My father knows him or is friends with him through work from a long time ago, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, Robin Hood with Daniel, um, not Daniel Craig, um, Russell Crowe. Going the Distance, I'm a big Drew Barrymore fan, so I had to get that. Bruno, Fantastic Mr. Fox, another great um, animation film. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist, Shorts, Trick or Treat, Revolutionary Road, Year One. Yes, you have to have it. The Wicker Man. It's not even worth the dollar, but it's really funny, though, in my eyes. Whoa. Um, Quantum of Solace. Another Toy Story 3, because my Toy Story 3 one from previous on the shelf above uh, was scratched, so I bought another one. Some Dog Millionaire. Angels and Demons. State of Play. Bad Lieutenant with Nicolas Cage and The Wolfman. All a dollar, so yeah. So above my TV, I have the 15th anniversary of Ben-Hur with the sculpture from Best Buy. I got that for $11 at the Black Friday sale. And over here, we got the Bat Pot from The Dark Knight. Uh, I got that from FYE. Uh, I just got The Dark Knight in there as well, so I got two copies of that. And then the Transformers Ultimate Collector's Edition. I think it's like eight discs that includes all the Transformers films, including The Dark of the Moon 3D. There's 5,000 of those, and it has a signed plaque of, with Michael Bay's actual signature in there, so that's really cool. I'm glad I picked that up. And over here is a sculpture of the Jurassic Park, of the T-Rex uh, coming through the Jurassic Park doors. That was in a, a Best Buy exclusive that came with the trilogy uh, Jurassic Park on Blu-ray. And then this is the 40th Evolution set of Planet of the Apes, one of my favorite films, all five original films. And then I have Rise of the Planet of the Apes from 2011 right in front of it. And over here, these aren't these normally don't sit here. I just put them there because I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. But that's the Tron Legacy disc I got from Toys R Us. This is the Cars 2 light up globe. If you hit the Cars logo, oh my god! <laughs> if you hit the Cars logo, oh my god! What the hell? Oh, okay. You don't hit the Cars 2 logo. This shows you how much I've used this. If you hit the Lightning Queen, he lights up blue. Yeah, that's that's the globe. And this is the Best Buy exclusive um, Muppets Lunchable, Lunchable, the lunchbox that you can get from Best Buy. Um, that was the exclusive they had with the Muppets. Alright guys, thank you for watching. That's my entire Blu-ray collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I haven't done it in a while, so I really wanted to put this up there. A lot of, I got a lot of requests doing it, so uh, here it is. And then hopefully sometime in the near future I hope to do like a room tour of, of uh, my entertainment setup and computer setup. Because I'm getting a lot of requests of that kind of video so 
that is it guys that is my entire blu-ray collection i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching uh don't forget to subscribe comment rate down below and also if you want to show off your collection i would love to see a video response if you'd like to uh, that would be really cool and that is it so until next time guys i'm the movie guy thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video